There was all sorts of crazy shit going on, bullshit going on in the background. I don't know what the fuck this guy was doing. What the fuck is going on here? I'm just genuinely confused. What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Jay Sama, and today, you already know what was happening. Apparently this is America. So if you guys weren't aware, Donald Glover, AKA Childish Gambino, who's probably one of my favorite artists. Um, I used to not like him, just to give some context. I used to not like him, but a friend of mine introduced me to his music and that was just, I was just really not feeling it at first, but the more I listened, the more I liked it. Um, this, first of all, this video and this song remind me so much of uh, a previous song that he has called I Crawl, which is probably one of the most discomforting songs I've ever heard. And it was actually used on a Far Cry trailer. Um, that's the first time I had heard it. And then um, it was on his, not his last album, but the album before that one. And I have to say, it's a very like disturbing song as far as like rhythmically, you're just like, ooh, I like it, but it's like, mm, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. So this had a little, this visually had that. Um, so I would have to say uh, for a lot of this video, I just couldn't, uh, to be honest with you guys, I couldn't tell what the fuck was going on. Just really, there was all sorts of crazy shit going on, bullshit going on in the background. I don't know what the fuck this guy was doing. What the fuck is going on here? I'm just genuinely confused as to everything that's going on in this video. And I think that was the purpose of this video now that I really think about it. I think the purpose of this video was to be chaotic and confusion, confusing because you look at one thing and you're not paying attention to something else. Um, it's very chaotic in that sense that this is America. Things are chaotic. Things aren't as they seem. Uh, stuff is kind of like cool on the culture, uh, on like on the surface. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's it's cool on the surface, but if you're paying attention to the background, there's a lot of crazy shit going on that should need attention. Or there's, um, everybody likes to point this part out, the Charleston shooting and, you know, this specific scene right here where he guns down, gun down, ugh, guns down the choir. Uh, you know what? I just, um, number one, I'm tired of seeing that, uh, that specific clip because it's all over Instagram. That's the thing that people are sharing. Um, but then they go right into the dancing. So I think that is a perfect, like by people doing that, that is a perfect example of what this video is portraying is the fact that. Yes, we've seen this baffling, shocking thing that has happened, and then we're going right back to doing something that's pop culture-y or whatever. So I'm just, I'm just baffled that people are playing into it so much. Um, this does kind of not necessarily wake you up, but it does really give you an idea of the deeper thinking or the genius that is Donald Glover. Um, that's without a doubt, 100%. Like it's just, it, it is what it is, and. Um, so my interpretation of this video is literally all over the place, much like how this video was made. Um, so I think that is what we're supposed to get out of this. Like at first I was trying to think like, no, this is, this is clearly a, a metaphor for this, that, and the other thing and blah, 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 blah. And this is such a deeper meaning and blah, 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 blah. Nobody, nobody needs to look into it that much. It is literally, it is what it is. This is America. And I'd have to say between all the the gun violence parts the cherishing of those guns during the gun violence parts because if you notice like they're wrapped in like a specific cloth and they're taken care of now i've seen a lot of people post comments about no this is how america cares more about guns than it does you know the actual gun violence and blah 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 blah, blah. and then some people on the other side would be like no this is uh, showing that um, you know, we're wiping the fingerprints off these guns and blah, 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 so there's no blame here. And it's like, I mean, that's great, but I'm not up for political debate. Um, I just wanted to listen to a cool song and watch a cool video, and that's what I got. So, um, excuse me for not being super woke, deep thinking or whatever, but that's, honestly, that's not my niche. That's none of my business. I mean, I, I can talk about that stuff privately. I just refuse to talk about it in a video because that's just not how I actually feel about it because I'm not, I'm not sure I'm all over the place with it. And so that is my 100% honest, like interpretation of this is that it's supposed to be 
confusing. It's supposed to throw you off. It's supposed to put you in a state of like uncomfortability. It's supposed to put you in a state of you don't know what the fuck is going on. Now, with that being said, there's a lot of stuff in this video that is just downright fucking funny. Like, first of all, I'm confused and somebody, another comedian that I know uh, pointed this out. How is this man wearing dress pants without a belt? I'm confused. Like this, these are just perfectly fitting pants where he doesn't have to like squinch or snug or like move around a certain way. They're just fitting so perfectly. And that is something that I don't know. Is that a, did his tailor have that set up? Like I'm, I'm confused as far as like, how is that possible? And so that's, that was something. And another thing that I really, really wanted to point out was the end of the video. The end of the video is probably one of the most shocking and it's it is the weirdest part of the video because it's Donald Glover running away from the people behind him, but it's so blurred out. I can't tell if they're other black people. I can't tell if they're white people. I can't tell if they're mixed people. I just can't tell, but he's running from them with a, such a look of fear and it's kind of hilarious. But also in that regard, like when you see it, it's almost like a zombie apocalypse type of thing where everybody's kind of running with like a specific like manner, but he's the only one kind of like booking it out of there. So I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm looking too deep into that, but you know, I, I just not really sure what to get from this video, but I want to know what you guys think down in the comments section. I know a lot of people have seen this video and there's also a lot of controversy about it being in the trending tab for uh, everywhere else but America which is not surprising because it's YouTube and it's also not surprising because it's America. So, you know, it, it, it makes sense. Like I, I understand that. Um, but I don't really care to get into too much of the politics, um, that, that could lead into this. So if you're going to leave a political comment and I know it's a little late cause we're 12 minutes into the video, if you're going to leave a political comment, please don't like it's, it's a waste of your time. Cause I'm not going to look at it. And I don't think other people are going to look at it because I'm going to delete it. So if it's something that I, that I deem constructive or it's funny, or, you know, it, it, it contributes to the conversation of the entertainment of the video, then I'll leave the comment up. But as far as that, if it's like, oh man, like, you know, gun violence and Donald Trump, like blah, 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 blah. I'm going to need, I'm going to need you to not post that comment. Okay. Just because it's my comment section. I can do what I want with it. Jay, that's not fair. This is a democracy. You know, you know, you're supposed to be open to conversation. You're supposed to shut the fuck up when I tell you to shut the fuck up because you're on my channel. Thank you very much. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to see any fucking political commentary comments and stuff like that. That's not what we're doing here. This is entertainment commentary. It's a little different. So the the video is beautiful. I love it. I think it's great. I'm not really sure what the what all the empty cars are supposed to represent. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on there. I'm not sure about the opening where, you know, the guy gets shot in the head. Like there's just so many things going on in this video that it's like, this is America. This is chaos. Like, you know what I mean? Like this, this just seems like uh, it's, it's so weird and distracting. That's, that's kind of what we're supposed to get out of this. I think. I think maybe so, you know, I, I really want to know what you guys think down in the comment section and you know, maybe just maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I, I just, I'm confused by everything. I'm, and that's genuinely what I think this video was supposed to be about. So, but with that being said, I also wanted to talk about something that came up last week that I didn't get a chance to talk about. Um, and I guess this is the part where uh, we learn today's life lesson because sometimes I shoehorn these lessons in there and sometimes I don't. So according to DJ Khaled, he don't eat the box, bro. My boy DJ Khaled does not eat the box. He does not participate in said tomfoolery of box eating. So number one, I'm going to tell you, there's nothing wrong with not eating the box. Number one. And number two, there's nothing wrong with eating the box. Okay. So that's just my personal opinion on it. Personally, I love the taste of, of, of vagina on my tongue. Okay. That's just me. 
That's just the way that I feel. I love to eat the box. That's just, it's more like a control thing. And without getting too graphic, it's like one of those things where your head is down there and you're grabbing her thighs and she's shaking and it's just, you know what, that might be a little too detailed. <laughs> But, but really though, there's nothing wrong with his personal choice of not uh, wanting to do that. And then I was seeing a lot of people like go at him on Twitter and like leaving comments on Instagram about how that's his religion and blah, 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 blah. Y'all be just reaching, man. I swear some people just reach like so hard. Like somebody just can't, like you can't just not like something. Like he could have left it at that. He could have just said, you know what? I don't do it. That's not my thing. I don't really care for it. Um, I prefer if she does it. Cause I have friends, I have two friends actually. Uh, one, she doesn't go down on guys. And another, he doesn't go down on girls. And so they don't, they don't know each other, but <laughs> it's, uh, that would be really weird if they got together though. That would be really weird. Cause uh, he's kind of straight. Anyway, um, so it's just a personal preference. like this girl she feels that that's not something that she's good at and she doesn't really enjoy it too much and it's just all sorts of weird situations he doesn't do it because he had a bad experience one time where this girl clamped his <laughs> clamped his skull in her thighs <laughs> which is fucking hilarious because i felt bad but at the same time i'm like bro these are casualties of war okay <laughs> these things happen okay so you gotta just roll with the with with the smacks bro you just that's just a thing so um i personally i enjoy it it is it is something it is a control thing for me it is also a thing that i'm a giver not a receiver so you know and i don't really i prefer to do you first and if you decide not to it's not going to be the end of the world because hopefully you'll offer an alternative like i believe in alternatives if you don't want to do that what are you willing to do so you know you you tell me how's this gonna go we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way the choice is yours but anyway um yeah so if you're somebody who does not partake or if you're somebody who doesn't really feel that that's something for you there's, there should be no judgment, first of all. There should not be, everybody's allowed to have their preference, and I think that is the most important thing to get out of this, is not that, oh, DJ Khaled just, you know, puts all this other stuff in his mouth and blah, 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 and people are trying to fat shame him and stuff like that. Like, this man is an advocate for weight loss. Like, do not come at him on some petty shit like, like what he eats, okay? Come at him about his character. His character is still pure. He still does great things for the world. So what, he doesn't eat the box. So what, he's a little sexist. Okay, all right, I understand. Come at him at that. Like, don't come at him about his weight. Like, y'all be trying, like, some people just be picking the wrong ammo, fam. Like, they want to make it seem like, oh, well, DJ Khaled is, uh, you know, he's so fat. You know, he just wants to, you know, put all this other stuff in his mouth, but won't put a pussy in his mouth. Like, like, bro, bro, pull your punches on that and choose your shots wisely. Instead of saying that, say how sexist he is or how double standard that is. Stuff like that. Stuff that's legitimate. Stuff that, like... When it hits, you're like, wow, that's that's like, everybody's affected by that. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's just people coming at him being super petty and stuff like that. Not only that, this interview is four years old. Why is it just now trending? Like, why is this a thing that is that is popping off? And um, I mean, it's great for the Breakfast Club because you know, Charlemagne, Envy, and Angela, they just keep getting bigger and bigger on that fucking show. Uh, even when it's stuff that's old. Next thing you know, the Birdman interview is gonna pop back up. You know, a Swizz Beats interview from seven years ago is gonna pop back up or some shit like that. You know, like, or that Bow Wow interview is finally gonna go viral because he was thinking it was gonna get a couple million views or whatever within the first day. Like, fam, uh, uh no. <laughs> Hashtag Bow wow Challenge. But anyway, that is pretty much it. That's all I got to say for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, everything down below. And if you get into politics, just believe, even if that is your opinion, I will fucking delete your comment. This has been your boy, Jay Sama. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and also uh, consider coming out to some live streams and supporting your boy. The merch is now available. You can scroll down to the description section and pick those up. This has been your boy Jay, and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon. Oh.